Molecular Theology Lecture 2 Tree of Life Model of DNA In this second lecture, Prof. Dr. C. A. Nainan presents a complete model of the Tree of Life of the Holy Bible in terms of modern molecular biology based on the structural components of DNA which is the physical basis of life. The evolutionary biology also has the tree of life in it, but its connotation is totally opposite. From his book entitled Cosmic Code of Life, he points out, referring to an article from the New Scientist and the statements of world-famous evolutionary biologist Eric Baptisti of Marie Curie University in Paris, and also that of Dupre, whose statements refute the idea of evolutionary tree and categorically state that Darwin's tree of life model of evolution is wrong and is only a figment of Darwin's imagination. He declares that the tree of life model of evolution has already been discarded by the renowned scientists of evolutionary biology and states that it needs to be replaced. Although this concept of tree of life in the evolutionary biology has been discredited and discarded, still a multitude of people hold it as true while it is not so actually. The emphasis that he lays on our fundamental view of biology, he says that it needs to be changed and it is more co as it is more complex than we thought it to be based on the understanding in the light of modern science. Using five symbols from the DNA, Prof. Dr. Nainan explains the logogram of the church in the previous lecture and is now, by complementing them with two more symbols, a complete model of the tree of life it is described in detail using seven symbols. Besides, molecular biology has also included psychological concepts and other technical information such as the Morse code, which is a language in itself, in order to illustrate the symbols and dots and dashes which overlap with TA lines of DNA. The presentation is a model-oriented realism where the model is an expression of reality. We are delighted to present this second lecture with the hope that it will enlighten our understanding of the tree of life of the Holy Bible in the light of modern molecular biology. Molecular Theology Lecture 2 The purpose of this lecture is to present a complete model of the tree of life of the Bible in terms of modern molecular biology rather in terms of DNA as physical basis of life. In my previous lecture I have already presented before you over a dozen biblical terms like seed of life, book of life, video of life, etc which have been borrowed from the Bible into biology. The tree of life is a term which already exists in evolutionary biology with an altogether different meaning or an opposing meaning. So, I will try to cancel from your minds the concept of the tree of life of Darwin, which Darwinians have already cancelled, denounced and discredited from evolutionary literature. I will read out the relevant portion from my book Cosmic Code of Life published in 1914. You please listen. These are opinions of world famous evolutionists on Darwin's tree. Eric Baptist evolutionary biologist at Pierre and Mary Curie 
University in Paris is reported to have recently told the New Scientist magazine, I quote, Charles Darwin's Tree of Life, which shows how species are related down evolutionary history, is wrong and needs to be replaced according to leading scientists. It says bluntly that Char- Charles Darwin's Tree of Life is wrong. The naturalist, that is Darwin, first sketched how species might evolve along branches of an evolutionary tree in 1837, an idea that quickly came to symbolize the theory of evolution through natural selection. Hundreds and thousands of people even today blindly believe in it without knowing the fact that this idea is already out of bounds for evolutionary biology. I continue. But modern geneticists have revealed that representing evolutionary history as a tree is misleading with scientists saying a more realistic way to represent the origins and interrelations of species would be um, an impenetrable thicket. We have no evidence at all that the tree of life is a reality. I will read again. The scientist says we have no evidence at all that the tree of life is a reality. Again, according to Dupre, Darwin's tree is no longer an adequate description of how evolution in general works. The tree of Darwin does not fit anywhere in the web. Rose wrote of the tree of life as being politely buried. What is less accepted is that our whole fundamental view of biology needs to change. Our whole fundamental view of biology needs to change. Biology is vastly more complex than we thought. This is exactly what I am trying to establish. Biology is far more complex than evolutionary biologists have taught all along and misled millions upon millions of people that God is not, the Bible is wrong, Genesis is concocted story, and so on and so forth. Now, first of all, we forget about Darwin's tree of evolution. And now we come to the biblical tree of life. Biblical tree of life is one of more than a dozen such terms related to consciousness as life principle in the Bible. Now, I have already presented five symbols from DNA patterns five symbols of archetypal value related to, that is, the symbol I related to the self, the symbol plus related to the spirit, the symbol H related to the soul, the symbol S related to the psyche, and the symbol O related to the genome and body. So these are arbitrary relations for details of each you have to refer to my book, Cosmic Code of Life, published in 1914, where I have allotted individual chapters to explain how these symbols are evolved and uh, how they are related to the respective, re, the respective entities above mentioned. So, we need not go into details of the authenticity of these relations. So, what I am trying to I'm sorry, I have also established that these five symbols overlap with the same five symbols of the church, such as logogram. Details I have already given in my earlier lectures. So these five symbols are common or the same for science and religion. These are the five symbols as crucible suffusion of science and religion in realistic terms. And now what I am trying to do is to develop a full model of the tree of life with the idea that 
if you can create a model that is an expression of reality yeah it is called a model dependent realism so from this the 5d and as symbols i am trying to develop a full model of the tree of life as consciousness or as the principle of life in dna here i have also in my previous lecture introduced the truth that the real vehicle of life number of the bible is 7 7 is the number denoting the vehicle of life so this tree of life as the vehicle of consciousness as life principle uh, we have traced five symbols and so we need two more symbols and that two we have to find from dna formats themselves it is an extremely difficult process but we can do it with incisive insight into the ultimate structure of the dna molecule at the level of symbols at the level of archetypes at the level of pattern germs of dna on the same lines we follow to perceive the the five symbols already presented so we have to uh, know beforehand that the symbols we want are about the spirit because the spirit is a tri- triplet fielding entity the spirit fields through three fields these are the ideating field or the thought field the assigning field or the symbol creating field and the alphabet creating field or the articulating field so these are the three recognized fields of the spirit of which we have related only the plus symbol to dna archetypes so we have to relate we have to rather discover or perceive two more symbols of the spirit from dna before doing that we must know more about the concept of archetypes it is a purely psychological concept so i shall pass on to that and then come back to perceive the two two symbols of the spirit so psychologists teach that archetypes are primordial images with much psychic content they act as indicators of psychic relations and are agents of unification of the conscious world of life with the unconscious which is not only a repository of the past but full of gems of ideas for the future too it is said that the psyche produces symbols as a plant produces flowers it can present completely new thoughts and creative ideas that have never been conscious before altogether new archetypal links of consciousness thus can be traced as new knowledge generated through advances in la advances is, is science come handy the archetypes of dna could thus be thought of only after dna structure was discovered that is only after 1953 when watson and crick discovered the molecular structure of dna molecule so this type of study is possible only after 1953 and in fact i started this study as early as 1953 and the results presented here are the outcomes of uh, uh, several years of incisive insight perseverance and uh, uh, and uh, restless thinking this again is possible only to one who knows the concept of archetypes on the one hand and the dna patterns on the other psychology tells us that most of the archetypal patterns and symbols related to mythology for legend scriptures primitive rituals etc are related to patterns of life in the unconscious so from the conscious science of dna and molecular biology we 
step into the unconscious science of the psyche and from there into the world of the spirit and from there into the world of pure consciousness. That is the approach followed here. Now, a word, image, pattern or a number is symbolic when it implies something more than an obvious and immediate meaning. It is then said to have a wider unconscious aspect. This has not yet been precisely defined or fully explained even by psychologists. Now, first of all we will trace two more symbols from DNA and then go into the unconscious aspect of these symbols as above said. The inc- an incredible thing is that DNA is versatile enough to provide these two more additional symbols of the triple spirit, of which we have already traced the cross symbol. The cross symbol has been traced from a, a single base pair of DNA reduced to base lines as I call it. So two lines, a shorter line for T and a long line for a A. That is TA lines. So when these TA lines were uh, arranged in crucif- uh, cross form, you got the plus symbol of the spirit. And now for the ideating field of the spirit, you have only to reduce the T line to a dot and the A line to a dash. So that the dot put above the dash as in its in situ position in DNA as a TA, you get the small letter I of English as the symbol of the ideating field of the spirit. And you know that there is a strange coincidence here also, a synchronism relating the small I of the ideating field first letter with the I symbol we have traced from DNA baselines. Okay. Now we have the cross symbol and also the small i symbol for the ideating field. And what we need is a capital A symbol for the alphabetic field. So alphabet, so I have selected A as the first letter of the word alphabet. Now it is a rather difficult thing. It is not as easy as creating the plus symbol or the small i symbol. But this again can be made as simple as the other two, following a different technique. So with this TA base lines called DDA lines, we have to go out of the, the boundaries of biology, go into psychology uh, uh, with the concept of these as archetypal symbols. And then again, you have to cross over to the Morse code where you find exactly these two symbols that is dot and dash which are represent which stands for the capital letter A of the Morse code. In fact the Morse code has uh, symbols for all the letters of English and also for the digitals 1 to 9. We want only the symbol for the capital letter A which we already have got as the first symbol in the Morse code that is a dot and a line. This put in linear order is the symbol A in Morse line sense which we adopt into biology. So we have three symbols derived from DNA itself, from the TA lines themselves, from the TA base lines themselves for the small i for the ideating field of the spirit, plus for the sign field of the spirit, and capital A for the alphabetizing or articulating field of the spirit. So this takes us to the desired number seven of symbols from DNA architecture. In archetype links with the self, idea, sign, word, soul, psyche and genome in the order capital A for self, small i for idea, plus for the sign field of the spirit, A for the word field of the spirit, H for the soul, S for the psyche, S for the genome. So we have derived seven symbols from DNA and archetypally linked them with the seven fields of consciousness of which the biological field uh, 
is only one only the ghostest field the o field so the entire organism and their life of plants and animals microbes uh, up to man is based on the o symbol which is the o tree of life as i call it so this is how you develop the tree of life model of dna so this model is the base model it is the universal model of organization of consciousness in dna on the one hand and living systems on the other all living systems are based on this model uh, with the uh, seven symbols denoting the seven fields of life and the important point to be remembered is that not all species have all these seven fields the microbes the virus uh, now uh, now the covid etc has only the o field they don't have the higher fields of the soul spirit uh, they 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 lead a life exclusively uh, linked to the o field which however has seven sub fields each of the seven fields have has seven sub fields so the o tree can be represented as o raised to capital i small i plus a h s o so that is the full field of the uh, uh, species only with the o field so the this link this relation exists for all the seven fields and so we have all together 49 fields through which life expresses in living systems as a whole so 49 trees and sub trees all put together 7 into 7 is 49 so these details i shall deal later which is a this is a very very complex thing because as the evolutionist has said i have quoted him biology is more complex than what we thought in fact it is much more complex than what they think so only if you uh, understand it correctly you will realize that biology is perhaps the most complex discipline of science itself because at one end is the is the virus only with the o field and the other end is the god concept as life because the bible teaches that god is life so so from virus to god we have had to explain things in through seven fields and through seven sub fields it is an extremely difficult thing all the same it can be explained that is the uh, the beauty of creation god created man in his own image and ima- uh, likeness before that god created dna in his own image and likeness or rather man created as a full fledged being hmm? as his dna in god's image and likeness we will come to all these things later thank you